Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a one year review of my small or slim Justin Clue bracelet with the diamonds at the nail head and the tip. I got this bracelet exactly a year ago, September of 2020, when it was first launched. So the Justin Clue always existed in this slim version but the one with the diamonds was just released last year. And a couple of weeks ago, I did a one year review of my Thin Love bracelet. In that video, a lot of you guys requested that I do a review video of the small Justin Clue as well. So I thought I'd do that in case it might help some of you guys out if you're in the market for one. Now I have to say, I do wear my Love bracelet a lot more because it is a simple design that I just don't take off at all. Whereas the Justin Clue, I've mainly been wearing it on the weekend so you know I still probably wore it a good hundred times in the last year but I have to say it hasn't been left on my wrist 24 7 like my love bracelet so I'm gonna be sharing with you my experience with wearing it how comfortable it is does it get caught on things how the wear and tear has been especially with the twist mechanism I'll also give you some tips on sizing and I'm going to answer some of your questions about this bracelet and give you my final verdict as to whether I still recommend it and I'm also going to answer the most frequently asked question, which is if I could only get one of these two bracelets, so either just the Thin Love bracelet or the Thin Justin Clue, which one would I go for? So stay tuned right till the end of the video. And now I'm going to bring the camera angle to the table. So it's consistent with how I reviewed the Love bracelet a couple of weeks ago. So let's get up close and personal with my wrists and the bracelets. All right guys, so I've got my camera down so I can show you the bracelet up close. As I mentioned, my particular Justin Clue bracelet is in the slim version, which is the thinner version. It also comes in the regular thickness, which is a much chunkier nail design bracelet. Some people argue that the nail design is already a very full on and statement design that they prefer to go with the statement, the regular size. But I personally really like this slimmer, dainty style and I just absolutely love the little diamonds on it. So the chunky regular size comes in all three gold colors, the yellow gold, rose gold and white gold and they come with or without diamonds and the diamonds are at the nail head as well as the tip. But for the slimmer version it only comes in the yellow gold or the rose gold and I've heard it's got something to do with the flexibility of the metal because of the opening mechanism of this bracelet which we'll get into in a minute. Anyway so this particular version does not come in the white gold but it comes in the yellow gold and rose gold both with or without diamonds. Now I mentioned when I reviewed my love bracelet thin version that I opted against the little diamonds because I didn't think the diamonds popped enough in the love bracelet especially in the slimmer version but with the Justin Clue even in this smaller slimmer style I found the diamonds to be really visible. It really adds a little bit of sparkle compared to the one without the diamonds. You can definitely see a considerable difference in the appearance of the bracelet with diamonds versus without diamonds. So for the Justin Clue, in my opinion at least, it was really definitely worthwhile paying that little bit of extra to get the diamonds on the nail head and the tip. So I am sure a lot of you guys already know how to open and close this small Justin Clue bracelet, but it is a flexible metal so you twist it off like so and then you twist it to put it back on like this. It does take a little bit of practice but once you get used to it it's really really easy to do. So because of this flexibility and the opening and closing mechanism I've heard that is the reason why the bracelet in the slim version doesn't actually come in the white gold because white gold isn't soft enough. Correct me if I'm wrong I am not really well versed in fine jewelry so that is what I've heard. So the most common question that I get asked about this bracelet from you guys is how the bracelet is holding up especially because you end up twisting the bracelet to put it on and take it off very frequently if you're not someone who leaves it on all the time. I personally don't leave my Justin Clue bracelet on all the time. As you can see with my bracelet it has not deformed at all. It still looks exactly the same as when I bought it a year ago. I can definitely do another wear and tear update if I notice any signs of distortion or anything like that with more wear. But so far the shape is holding up fantastic and unlike the love bracelet which has a very flat surface that is really scratch prone. The Justin Clue bracelet because of its rounded surface 
you just really cannot see the scratches. I am sure it does get scratched up, but it's just not visible and I really cannot see any visible scratches on mine after wearing it for quite some time. So if you're someone who is super sensitive to seeing scratches on your bracelet, then maybe the Justin Clue would be a better choice for you. Now, in terms of how comfortable it is when it's on your wrist, I would say that it is a pretty comfortable bracelet to have on your wrist. Once it's on, I really do not notice it at all. I'm sure with the regular version, you will definitely feel the weight of it. But with this slim version, it is pretty lightweight, so you don't notice it much at all. So it's really comfortable to have on. But the nail tip does occasionally catch on to my clothes, especially when I wear knitwear. So you do need to be a little mindful of that, but it doesn't catch very often. Once I put this bracelet on before I got changed into my knitwear dress and I made a little bit of a hole in my knitwear dress so that was really really unfortunate but I found that as long as you put on your knitwear or your clothes first and then put your bracelet on last from just moving around and things it doesn't really get caught very easily so although it is something to consider I wouldn't say that is a real concern I've also heard that some people are concerned over how secure the bracelet is when you have it on your wrist because of the twist mechanism some people are concerned that it won't stay secure on your wrist I haven't found any problems with that so far after having worn it for a year. It has never come loose on its own or got caught somewhere and completely came off the wrist. Yes, it is possible that it can get caught on things and twist a little bit, but it's not going to twist enough that it's gonna come off your wrist and you're losing the bracelet. It's just gonna to have to open pretty wide for it to fall off your wrist. So I actually personally find this twist mechanism quite secure. Now, in terms of sizing, it is recommended that you go down a size on your Justin Clue bracelet compared to the size of your love bracelet. So in my case, my wrist is actually 14 and a half centimeters in circumference. I went with the size 16 love bracelet because it is meant to run a little bit smaller than the Justin Clue. And in the Justin Clue bracelet, I went with the size 15. So the two sizes are perfect stacked together. And I think that's because the Justin Clue always runs a little large because they always need to leave a little bit of space for the nail head to sit. So I actually found that with the rings as well. So as you can see, I've got my regular love ring here and I've got my slim Justin Clue ring here. They are both size 52 to fit my middle and index fingers, but I can definitely tell you that the Justin Clue ring feels a lot roomier than the love ring, even though they're the same size. So I think technically I needed to go down a size on the Justin Clue, as you can see, you know, there's a little bit of a space there. So at the moment, I'm a little bit warm in this room with the lighting and everything, but when my hands are not warm, this ring is actually really loose on me, whereas the love ring is a really good size. Now let's talk about the pros and cons. So some of the pros to the Justin Clue bracelet is that it is just so beautiful. I just love the nail design. It is so simple, but it is so innovative. I just absolutely love all the details of it. The little indentations there, the nail head, the nail tip. I mean, it is a beautiful design and it is a very classic Cartier look. In terms of the design itself, it is a much more unique design than something like the Love Bracelet because the Love Bracelet is a very simple bangle design. So if you just want a simple gold bangle, you don't necessarily have to go for a Cartier piece and pay a lot of extra for it. If you just want a simple bangle, you can always get something like this from a local jeweler and pay a lot less for it. Whereas with the Justin Clue, the design itself is just so unique. And what I've heard is that it does take a lot more craftsmanship to make the Justin Clue bracelet. So I absolutely love the design of it. Another pro is that it is pretty comfortable on the wrist because it's quite lightweight. I've heard that with the regular Justin Clue, which has a much bigger nail head, can really dig into your skin. So it can become a little bit noticeable on your wrist. It is also pretty easy to put on and take off. As you saw, you just twist it. You can do it on your own. Unlike the Love bracelet, you need a screwdriver to do it and undo it. Whereas 
Whereas with the Justin Clue, you don't need any extra components. I also find that if you're gonna go with a version with some diamonds on your bracelet, I definitely find the diamonds on the Justin Clue bracelet a lot more visible than the diamonds on your Love bracelet. So when you pay that little bit of extra to get some diamonds, I feel like they really pop a lot more on the Justin Clue design. Also, I have to say, because the Justin Clue slim version with the diamonds is a relatively new release from Cartier, it is only a year old design, I find that it is not as commonly seen as some of the other bracelet designs, such as the same bracelet without the diamonds or the love bangles. All of the other bracelets from Cartier that are really popular, I find are a lot more commonly seen than this particular one. So that could be a pro for some of us. Now, for some cons, some people may actually prefer the statement look of the regular size. So the dainty look of the slim Justin Clue may not be for everyone's preference. Also, it is pretty lightweight and some people may actually find that to feel not substantial enough for a designer bangle that costs quite a bit. So that can work as a pro and a con depending on what your preferences are. And I also weigh the bracelets that I have. And if you compare the weight of the gold in the Justin Clue bracelet, versus the weight of gold in the slim love bracelet there is a considerable difference so the slim love bracelet weighs about 20 grams whereas the Justin Clue slim is only about 8 grams that is such a big difference so when you compare the prices of the thin love bracelet without the diamonds and the thin Justin Clue without the diamonds the price difference is not as much as the difference in the weight of the gold that you're getting. But from my understanding, the Justin Clue is more pricey per gram of gold because it does require a lot more craftsmanship. So I'm personally okay with it. I'm not too concerned about the amount of gold that you're getting in your bracelet. For me, I'm never going to use the gold in my bracelets. So what is more important is what looks nice, what I'm going to wear the most, and what suits my style. Another con of the Justin Clue slim bracelet is as I mentioned it can actually get caught on things at the nail tip so although it's something that doesn't happen too often from my experience it is definitely something that can happen. Now the final verdict would I repurchase the Justin Clue slim bracelet with the diamonds? The answer is obviously a yes because I absolutely love it. It is so beautiful. But that ties into our next question. If I could only buy one of the two, which one would I buy? Obviously, it was a pretty close tie. I couldn't decide on one of them, which is the reason why I actually bought the both of them at the same time. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you already know that I unboxed them together last year. So it was a bit of a hard decision for me but with the knowledge and experience that I have with both the bracelets today I would say if I could only buy one I would definitely go for the love bracelet first but at the first chance that I could I probably end up adding the Justin Clue slim bracelet and that is mainly because of two reasons first reason you guys know that I just leave my love bracelet on all the time. It's such a simple design that it is so comfortable to just leave on 24 7. So on cost per wear the love bracelet just wins over. However I just wanted to show you one more thing. I find that when I wear the love bracelet on its own even in the slim version it does have enough of a presence. I think that it absolutely looks substantial enough whereas when I wear my just include thin bracelet on its own I feel like it's a little bit too subtle. I mean, that looks okay there, but in real life, in person, when you see it on its own, it does have less of a presence than the love bracelet on its own. So you guys can have a look here. On camera, they both look really nice, but in real life, I found that when I was trying them on separately, the love bracelet definitely looked nicer on its own. So these are my thoughts on the small Justin Clue bracelet with the diamonds. I'd love to know your opinions if you could only choose one of these two bracelets, which one would you prefer? Which one would you go for? Do share your picks down below in the comments section. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll leave my small love bracelet review on screen and another Cartier video on screen as well. So if you haven't checked them out already, do head over there. As always, thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today. And I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys.